Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting and everything and amazing Propaganda Castle. Me, your host, Imperial Dane, the one and only Master Propaganda here of Psych Defender of the Fatherland of Itob 1v1 on Villa Fiore, which received a small update here to the center of the map. It's now just one large building with a few trees and some arches nearby. We're off here, though. In the north stand, Sir John Harrington, fighting here for the Deutsches Afrika Corps, sitting out here with the 15th Panzer Division. Task with holding the line here in the face of an American assault here under the command of Charlotte, forming up here with the 1st Infantry Division, here with advanced infantry, and we got rapid courts there on the way here for Charlotte after a double scout start versus Double Panzergrenadier is here from Sir John Harrington. So that's a lot of Panzergrenadier. As always, a big hearty thanks to my patron supporters that continued and general support of the Propaganda Cars. This, of course, helps keep it possible. So big thanks there. And a big hearty thanks to keep commenting and liking on videos set up immensely with the YouTube algorithms. Yes, algorithms. So, Panzergrenadier is moving south. It's here. Norfolk's Panzer Pioneer busy, second squad out here. We got American troops in the center and scouts in Norfolk's here. Charlotte rapidly moving out to seize as much here as she can in the name of democracy. Second Panzer Grenadier squad moving forward over the Carnot TK bolt action rifles. The average Panzer Grenadier squad have been roughly six, oh, not six, but 10 to 12 men. Of course, depending on the period, of course, as the war went on, the in game diet things like at times eight men per squad. If typically arranged into two fire teams. And typically, unlike Grenadier Squads, both fire teams would have access to a light machine gun. Fun fact, that's had one of those major differences between most Panzer Grenadier Squads and Grenadier Squads. So some Grenadier Squads could, depending on the situation, also have more light machine guns if, say, they manage to get in the hands of another one. 250 out when they hit four. So John Harrington, first shots fired deep with the center victory point. You have with under fire from the Panzer Grenadiers. Car 90 case was the M1 Garant and Single Thompson of North here, Panzer Pioneer Busy. 250 half track right around the corner here. Force of John Harrington. Scouts here pushing forwards then the south side here. Fun continues around the center. We could also see soon an engagement up north here between the Panzer Pioneer and the Scouts. 250 half track ready here. Pushing out there for Sir John Harrington. Who's gone for armored support. And he's also going straight for the light support company. So we might see a few various things here. But there you go. 250 support the Panzer Grenadiers here. As fighting intensifies around here, of course, John Harrington could shift the southern. Panzer Grenadiers up to assist around the center here. Of north, though, quick turning up the tides here. Pushes back the Panzer Pioneer in the face here of Charlotte's infantry push here. But in the center, the fighting continues here. Ripen's starting to slowly drop out here. Bobo and Robbo. Their drops dead. Both from Wisconsin. They never knew each other before the war. So... We got here an infantry support center for Charlotte. Pretty much standard there. The infantry support center is easily the best the of the three support centers. You may ask why. Because it gets you a free unit and some certainly powerful upgrades. Particular advanced logistics is just supremely good. So, got Rangers here. Scouts though, about to bite the bullet here. And there we go. Rangers go rhyming there with Thompson. Submachine gun going hard here. Forcing here Sir John Harrington's men to quickly scatter here in the face of the Rangers. Supreme firepower they can bring to bear. MD34 on the way here though from Sir John Harrington. Prompt response to the Rangers. 250 half track backing off the as the Americans now surge forward here. German lines collapsing here across the entirety of the front. Panzer Gunner is popping up. The Rangers keep pushing forward here. They did lose Donnie there, but that is about it. Panzer Pioneer joining in the 250 half track. Already veterans one. So basically can pop troops inside but they can heal. MD34 almost done. Rangers there active retreating here might have been a misclick there by charlotte can happen we do have the md34 team out here though for sir john harrington and the 15th panzer grenade to be shown third panzer grenade company as first information d company keeps up the fight supported here by the u.s rangers which were typically organized into independent battalions if i remember correctly it could have been regiments an additional fun fact, Rangers were trained very much like the British commanders. In fact, they initially weren't trained by the British commanders, were meant to be used by, like British commanders. But a lot of US Army commanders used them a lot like basically heavy assault troops, just in it's like, you know, where the fighting was expected to be the thickest. Like, that sent them head on to those things, which resulted in the Rangers typically, like, you know, suffering a lot of losses of being bled out that way. Little fun fact there. It also have some less than great consequences, I believe, at the Battle of Salerno. If I remember correctly, no, it's the landings at Salerno. Anyways, slightly fuzzy on that one. 
Rangers are equipped with bazookas, went for an airdrop, probably expecting like flame first here, the light machine guns, or the BAR or the BARs, but in this case got bazookas. Obviously going to be great hit versus any light vehicles like the 250 half out of Sir John Harrington. So far, these also got a bit of a kill lead here. MD34 setting up is going to catch you. Charlotte's forces to try and sneak around here on the Panzer Grenadiers here. 250 half tech moving south to assist here. Staying closer to support the machine gun. Half track there. Ogre popping the Panzers they can fight from inside, but also heal from inside. Also up north, Panzer Pioneer Northfoots. Do they have any mines here? I don't think so. Machine under heavy fire. Range closing up here, sticking to the wall so they don't get suppressed. Good play there by Sharp. They got the cat moving up on the flank. Proud squad, they're suppressed. There you go, getting close enough to pop a grenade there, I think. So John Harrington sees the situation, realizes it's going to go poorly for his machine gun. Charges in the half trade. There must have been a misclick. Or, oh, I don't know, something else going wrong there. Pants moving to the flank here, but they're already in trouble here. At, cut off from the rest of the support there, the easy targets. Rangers almost got the 250 after here. Panzer going to escort right there. See a big retreat here from the 15th. Panzer going to be shown as the first infantry charges in for democracy. Straight on to the mechanized company here. Well, there's definitely some who still go for flak feelings. There's definitely been a rise and surge in people going for the mechanized regiment again. And Akkards and Stu D's. So, the nerves in that sense least achieved some. Oh dear, that was, a, I think, an attack order she forgot to cancel and they just pushed in there. That old Charlotte just got really, really bold. Maybe if we just say we're German, the machine gun is going to let us pass. But what if he doesn't speak English? I mean, we said we're German. Come on, that's going to work, right? Popping the machine in there for some repairs and probably swift mobilization or healing, actually. So, mechanized company ready. I'm expecting the Achtrad here, though. So, John Harrington could surprise us here with the Stug. No, briefly, I think. But yeah, it's going for the Achtrad here, the 232. Sonderkraftfahrzeug, schwerer Panzerspielwagen. Back in Charlotte's space, we do have the motor pull up. No sign of the artillery up service. Let's lose on the scouts. Machine gun here as the captain. By the center, we got a airdrop here. Was it air reconnaissance? No, that's in support, so that's gotta be a drop of some sort. Oh yeah, it's the drop for the rangers. And it's this time a bazooka and a light machine. So that's triple bazookas and a browning on those rangers. Your machine that's hit by hip hop mortar, which Charlotte brought in earlier, and I missed. Thumbs up, Charlotte, of course. And the MDF4 goes down. We do have the Arctic out here. Rather than pushing forward, so this could become a bit of a racer to get the machine in here before the other one gets their grubby little hands on it. Arctic the moving up here. Got the superior fire doors there. Go rather than charging in the heavy fire. Charlotte, of course, sees this is going to be a death march if he tries to reach for that MD34 there. So she withdraws her riflemen. And she, of course, she values, values unit preservation. Chaffy light tank on the way here, though, for Charlotte to counter the Arctic and the 250 half track. Obviously, a solid addition there. We'll, of course, have to see how Sir John Harrington responds to this. Could go for Panzer Jaegers. Could go for Marders. Chaffee Light Tank, though, right around the corner here. Cat Rangers calls out the ready as well here. Machine and the recruit. Got 439 versus 467. And we do get a Panzer go about here for so John Harrington giving a bit of anti-tank asses there. Got the southern vector point, Panzer going to pushing southwards, kept here in support of the half track with the supporting range. Arctide covering up here, all the vector points here, so that means so John Harrington can start bleeding up Charlotte there. Got the northern point. Got the Chaffee on the move here, M24. Like tank, I need to be careful. Panzer in the fire here. Champion goes for the Arctic. We got Bazooka fire as well. There go. Heavy armor car. They're taking a full volley there. Most of the shots, the miss. That said, not really a lot of great ways here for John Jang to get the armored car there in one piece. And it does go down here. Oak sent the armored car. Not really sure, sure that was sensible, considering like he already knew those ranges of the Bazookas. And a Chaffee as response to the Arctic is very much within what you typically expect. If you're the DAC plane, you go for an armored car. Like if against the British, it would typically be a Stuart light tank. So the position of the armored car there was a bit questionable overall. Well, oh, actually, I went for the combat upgrade for the half tank. See, not a bad idea, but there you go. Could snare it up here. No, doesn't snare it up here. So John Harrington not paying attention. Okay, there you go. We got the snare on the way here. Half to lightning here. Might be able to save the mortar half track. It's going to be a close one there. Damaging the champion half track here. Pushing into the base here. 
Oh dear, oh dear, it's gonna lose the 250 more half tech anyways. No! Close call there. Other half to take fire there. Panzig is hard at work. He was the chaffy light tank. Ah, oh dear. I think he misclicked there. Mistimed. I don't know. Got the chaffy though, but lost the mortar half track, which is obviously this ideal on top of the Actrat. That's pretty good there for Charlotte. Pretty good. Panzig is pulled for the half track. Up north, the victory point. And there's the Americans. We do now have the artillery observers. We also got designated assault position. We now got Panzer Storm here out of him, and we also do get support elements. Could be a stoop here being planned. Well, I don't know, recovery half track. I mean, technically, you could recover both the mortar half track and the chaffy within his own base, though. The rest of the truck could wreck the chaffy wreckage. I don't know, but it's a thing to consider. Like, so John Harrington's like actually one of those players who does make use of recovery vehicles it has in the past, so he could do that. Oh dear. This is extra bad though here for Sir John Harrington. The MD 34 that got snatched by the Rangers. So we'll have to see what happens next. They grab the sun the points here with the captain. German forces having a bit of a rougher time. You get a Stug 3D on the way here, at least first again. We could start recovering these two with a recovery half track. That could be an idea. Of course, in the German army, they would use a variety of vehicles for armored vehicle recovery. You had like so some of the farmer half tracks had he have here. There's also Panzer 3 based recovery vehicles. One based off the Panther actually. The Berger Panther. You have one in the headset as well. Plus the one would also commonly use like captured vehicles for such purpose. For example, a lot of T Fed falls when the turrets got like wrecked and they couldn't replace them. Obviously they just be converted into recovery vehicles as well. Fun fact I think some of those actually still serves in Normandy too. And he's pursuing here the scouts and the MD-34 crew, but it's not quite enough for John Harrington. We've got more supply drops here, but this time it's for a fresh ranger squad here. We also got BARs up there. I think. Interesting. Rather than don't have them, but the rangers do. How strange. Anyways, two feet being presented for the bazooka team. Stug decharging forts here through the main, past the main villa here. What do they have? They got more light machine guns there. Stug demon behind the rangers. So what will happen next here from Sir John Harrington? The Stu's going to go straight for the mortar here, bombarding it from up high. Great shot there with the mortar. Range still flanking of the Stu. D need to be careful here. Bit risk, of course, with the Stu being out this far, but then he has to get a bit aggressive as a shot as well. Decent shot there, but a lack of smoke should need to cost the Stu. Murder on the way there. Oh, okay. Not what I've expected here. Not what I've expected, considering like the, so far the primary threat is more infantry here from Charlotte, rather than armor. But we got the murder out there just in case. Two ranger squads really kind of think, you know, necessitate you know, some anti-infantry. Plus again, you know... Can't be able to get the Stuke back, maybe this as well. Pass on me in the background. Panzer Punic catching. Oh, they got a bazooka as well here. But we do have that two in the 250 half track. That's not too shabby. We actually got the third Ranger Squad the upgrade as well there. So that's that's a full three Ranger Squads now here for Charlotte. That is a lot of Rangers. And certainly adds a bit of a challenge here to Sir John Harrington right now. MD Fed was the Panzer. You can see it quickly pushing them back. Need to fix up that 250. Charlotte has yet to like really bring any further vehicles or armor. We got another supply drop here. This time it's another bazooka and a Browning automatic rifle. Look the AR. Fix up that 250, obviously. The victory point is being taken from us. There's like technically like three, you know, vehicles and such that could be recovered here by Sir John Harrington, or of course he just go for more Strukties. He could also, of course, consider like, you know, maybe going here for we the Flam Panzer three. Probably won't. South City of Panzer is the advancing captain. Then we're moving forward for freedom and democracy. We've got another Achtgard here, though. Interesting choice. Interesting choice. There you go. 250 fixed out. Chambers the Panzer Grenadier is there. We've got 335 versus. Uh, 55 and versus 403. More traffic on the way there. 
Atrad number two almost done. Machine sees in the center. Pushing north to ramp against Rangers there. Of course, need to be careful of Bazooka Fire. Panzer Pioneer moving in. Panzer is heading south or northeast there. Rangers just fall back in the face of the flame for it, interestingly enough. Second Achtrad already here. South side though, Charlotte and the men of the 1st Infantry Division are rapidly moving ahead. They're seizing up as much as they can. He machine further advancing here. Mortifying the Panzerjägers. And there go Akra going for it. Backed up with the Marder just in case he of course that. Charlotte's got some kind of tank or vehicle here waiting around to engage the Akra. Machine gun there being hunted down by the Akra. All fixed points on the control here of Charlotte. She's in the center one with the Panzer Grenadier as the center here is being increasingly cleared up like any obstacles. Catmoning us to the line of fire, the Panzer and the Arctic here. We got the Rangers coming up here on the flank though. More tough needs to withdraw here. There you go, the engaged Haber Sukha fire here. No smoke available here, so he's going to lose that half track there to the Rangers. Oh, actually, did have smoke. Good, but still, those Bazooka Rangers are a significant threat. Panzer Grenadier being pushed back here. We got designated assault position there active. Withdrawing here, the vehicles under fierce pursuit of the Rangers. Center there also collapsing as Charlotte there pulls in with the Rangers engineers. Got a Stuka dive bomb here from Sir John Harrington. Correct hits here on the Arc Guard. Marta though, looks like it may not be able to escape him unless the smoke screen I think dropped off here maybe. Yeah, at the same time, the Martyr Knight to makes it easier for the Rangers to engage the Arctic as well here. Martyr's about to get knocked out of the Rangers. Almost got into the line of fire, the machine gun button. Do got smoke, but that actually helps the Rangers get into the base here, I think. He didn't quite think that one through, but... Oh, well, it's now pushing in. There we go. Getting suppressed here. Panzer Glen is engaging here. Might actually be able to turn this into not quite as big as a mess as it might look like. More Rangers moving in, and of course, they still got one bazooka. Need to get the Arctic. There go. Shoots. Kind of worse. Machine gun bunkers, though, not able to fire here due to a lot of the terrain there being removed. We got the Hellcat away for Charlotte as she has managed to take up. We got another Arctic here. As, of course, John Harrington is now increasingly focusing on just the Rangers here. Arctic there, of course, need repairs. More tapping push forward, especially two there. Hunter of Pimini and their supporting need to be careful, though. Got the southeastern point being seized. More trap there being rushed forwards. Wrecks are used increasingly being wrecked here, so there's not really much point in covering them now, I guess. Second Arctic ready here. More trap being pushed back, but then the at least realized it needs to be a bit further away. And we got a fresh Ranger squad here, but without any upgrades. Being focused on it with the two Panzer squads with MD 34s here. Cut caused here. Charlotte, if she's not careful. I believe we got the focus fire bellies in the active, so that really means they get extra damage in here. Down to just one man there. Almost got Guineas as well here, it's time to get some hits in, but we got that Hellcat now ready here for Charlotte. And with that, of course, we got a big headache on the hand C for Sir John Harrington. Pushing in with the Arctic but the Marder is no need to be seen there. Go direct engagement with the Hellcat here, and of course, he went in very hard. We even got the Ranger C, which is like another reason I did find a bit odd. He went in so hard with the Arctic he knows his opponents, at least a lot of bazookas. So, charging in like that, even with them not knowing the Hellcat is there, seems a bit excessive. And a bit reckless. Obviously, at some point, he has to get a bit more aggressive here versus Charlotte. Because, in a lot of respects, he's definitely getting a bit of a tough time here thanks to all the Rangers. But, oh, she's actually being quite active with designated assault position. Impressively so. Moving in for the Rangers. Arkad and Mar, they're getting pelted with bazooka rockets here. Hunter Pinch over the MD-34 here. Who's that MD-34 really hurt us at John Harrington here versus Charlotte? Lost a key asset of ours containing uh, the aggression of the Rangers. Panzer is flanking up behind the MD-34 team. Need to repair all of these. Looks like we do have self repairs. We got another Arctic no Stukes. Hellcat here being repaired. Things remain uh, quite hectic in a lot of respects. Their map control swinging back and forth here, despite the pressure from Charlotte. So John Harrington is definitely pushing back. After they're being fixed up, Mart of course also getting a few repairs done there. 
Could go for Flam Panzers, Command Tanks or Battlefield Salvage. Grab the victory point here, looking to slow down the bleeding. Second act out ready here. Marta fixed up. Mortar's being pushed forward here as Charlie gets ready for another push here. South South Rangers with the Panzer going here, so you need to withdraw them. Arkad going in. And we do see retreat here actually. Hellcat moving up here. Mard needs to be within range here and maybe some Panzer as well here. Or perhaps Charlie's starting to get a bit more cautious there, so she's not quite as aggressively there. And actually I think just quickly withdrew there. Just rather risk like maybe multiple Mardis here. They could of course quickly knock out the uh, Hellcat. But so far, though, the Rangers are such a big headache there for uh, Sir John Harrington. He will commit more to Akhtar as long as possible. Panzer's about to go up in the New Year's, though. That's going to be a good wipe here, though, for Charlotte. Akhtar, though, ripping through the mortar crew here. Mortar fire joining in. He could possibly get a wipe then, Charlotte's mortar. Almost had it. But we got the Hellcat there covering up. Close call, though. Mine inching forward. Good shot on the Hellcat. Akhtar is holding the hits here. Rangers machine team moving up here. Mortify ring down death there. Got it! A loss. The Mod and the Process. The Mod for Hellcat, I think, is reasonably well within range. Here, a good trade off there for Sir John Harrington. That said, who's going to knock down to the Rangers would be obviously very bad. He's drawn to the base here. Rangers are taking a lot of damage, but with the right upgrades, they're going to be fairly tanky here. Beam up north here, Panzers of the Rangers. There we go, quick retreat here. White there, absolutely brutal. On the farm trail away there for Charlotte. The John Harrington is looking um, pretty rough here. Losses are piling up. And these Rangers have really started to give him an incredibly tough hell of a time. Light support company down. Panzig is out. Almost got the machine on the water half track. Which can also clearly grab points there. On the farm show now, and that for that. So John Harrington will need more than Panzegas. The Arthards. He's perhaps planning another mortar half track here. Could be, could be. Other one that's deeply exposed. Hunter Farm Show running forward. She's got the mortar there actually wiped. John Harrington is still in the fight. I mean, he's definitely bleeding out Charlotte somewhat, but Charlotte's are not making it easy. We've got another mod on the way here. Going straight for the mortar half track. Need to get that one out of there. Direct hit here. Rangers moving up here. The flamethrowers and light machine guns and bazookas. Arkad's moving in here though. Certainly not having a lot of cover. It's not ideal there for Charlotte's Rangers. They are rapidly pushed back here. It's out in the open. They are definitely quite exposed here. And there you go. So John Harrington, of course, sees the opportunity. Charges in there. Dies in the heavy armor cars. Unfarm Shen pulling back. Got the more tough tech supporting. And we got the other one forwards. Mod of three ready here. Rangers up north push back. Unfarm Shen going for the center. Panzer gets almost wiped out. Close call here, though, for Sir John Harrington and the 15th Panzer Grenadier to be shown. Very close call. 178 with the 52. Arctos has been engaged with the Rangers, Marduming against the Sherman. Panzer is pushing forwards. Machine there setting up again. It's going to catch here. So John Harrington's in from the bad spot. He keeps up his salt here. Good shot on the Sherman. Marduk keeps pushing forwards here. Now we got the Rangers set in flank here. We got the Arctos in quick turn around there. First Arctos is about to get knocked out. Need to deploy smoke here. Pop it if you got it. Panzer and Eagle being wrecked apart with the MU 34 here. Thick pushing in the online to try and cover up here for the other units. Marder, they're just hanging back. Arkarts, they almost got the Rangers, but the Arkarts themselves are almost done as well. And there you go. Armored car kaput. Another stinging blow there to the German army. We got the Hellcat out here. And we got more engineers on the way there for Charlotte as he did lose one squadron. We got another Stugner on the way here for Sir John Harrington. Permission granted. Battlefield ranks shall be salvaged for the Battlefield salvage. But also salvage that one, I suppose. No, I, yeah, it does have salvage kits. Center being seized for the Rangers. We got the Hellcat now pushing out. 250 after grabbing points. The 
enemy has taken a victory point. Point E. Ruthless fight, and there you go. That 250 half tech, I think, is going to go down into the Hellcat, unless Charlotte gets unlucky or he gets very lucky. And looks like out of those two happen, Marta pulling forwards. Stug right around the corner. The Stumke should stay as filling D. Let's see if we can maybe avoid Oak standing it like the first one, because I do think that's really what caused him to lose that first Stug. Is just like, you know, having it all here in the way in the center with absolutely nothing to cover in case of like being assaulted by, say, a Chaffee or anything like that. Arthur catching the captain here. Definitely needs to be like, you know, a bit uh, more careful here, moving about these, you know, casemates like that. But quickly end up costing here to John Harrington if he's not careful. And there you go, Hellcat again, the Stug D. Rangers are quickly falling back here. Charlotte's not going to mess with the might of the Storm Gershots. Another great hit from the Hellcat on it, though. Mar does an Akhtar moving up, she's in the center here. There you go, strained against the Hellcat here. Marditing hits. Another great shot there in the center. Rangers pushing in, backed up the enemy 34 here. Almost got the Hellcat here. Rangers moving it. There you go, knocking it out. The Gallus. Duke a bomb drop here, I think, on the MD. Got it! Small win here, the Rangers to keep the Switzerland Duke here. Half decent hit, they have a cut loads it. Arm oh, providing some coming fire there, mate. Hellcat charging in there. Cut, maybe trying to snare up, but doesn't happen. Rangers falling back here, Hellcat though dives in. MG there seized a by to John Harrington. Hellcat keeps up the pursuit here, 250 after there. Charging in, we got another martyr on the way here. Arkhart somehow survives the hit. Smoke deployed here, trying to hide. I think get a shot off, but instead loses the Stug. Hunter Farm shown on the move here, setting up the Pantex in the south. Diving into the base here with the Hellcat. Come hello, high water. Just trying to buy time for that martyr to arrive. Hunter Farm showing me pushing forwards. Certainly a rather chaotic match in the machine, and there I think needs to withdraw here. It's a game of hide and seek here inside. This is John Harrington's base there. Go machine gun flank, hunt from Sherman. And then a sail with the Rangers right as it picks up here. Down it goes. There we go. We actually got Battlefield Savage there, so we can actually get some resources out of taking out his opponent's Hellcat. Thumbs up there. It's a pretty good ability, but that's gonna look this connected arm to quickly replace some of his losses there very rapidly. Need to get rid of that Sherman then. Free to get some value out of it. The question is, can he do that in about 20 seconds? I'm less sure about that. Now you've got Hunt Farm shows the Marder. The Zuka team moving up as well here. Cook calls to John Harrington, the Ranger. Not the Ranger, but uh, the Marder there. Akhtar pushing forwards. Panzer is there. No additional troops in the way here so far. Machine in the recruit. Close call though from the Mortar after taking out here. Rangers forced off. Got the resources, but is clearly uh, feeling a bit pressured. Now the hell can't wait for Charlotte. Panzer is quickly withdrawing here. 150 to 326. It's 150 for Sir John Harrington. I don't know why, but again, the victory points at times get a bit weird. Grabbing the point there. Still in the fight, though, impressively so, but uh, it's definitely coming at a bit of a cost here. Range is taking minor hit here. Again, recovery vehicle could, like, you know, have brought in and feel like a bit of value at this point. Also, John Harrington. That's just me. Rangers said they've been caught with the Arctic. They don't have a bazooka, but they do have an anti tank rifle. Clearly, that is not enough for Charlotte to keep them around here. In the center, Panzer with the Hunter Farm Sherman. Does catch and he's repairing it. Almost getting wiped here in Charlotte's engineers, which would certainly make it harder here for Charlotte to maintain the Sherman. Marta pushing up here. Gonna engage that Sherman. Now we got the Hellcat moving up here. We got another Marta. This is John Harrington, courtesy of that uh, Battlefield Salvage there. Rangers pushing forwards again, equipped with a lot of bazookas. And there you go, Panzer is take a scathing hit from the Shermans. About to get wiped out with the advancing Rangers, then as they push forwards, so this is going to force a complete collapse. There you go, Ranger appearing on the flank as well here. A disaster situation here. Force of John Harrington and Charlotte now comes charging in there. Rangers unleashing hell here. Flam Panzer out. Marta down. Rangers caught in the machine gun bunker. Outcard sneaking in a few shots there. Panzer is occupying the house here. Flam Panzer he feels more like out of desperation than anything else from Sir John Harrington at this point. Hellcats, Sherman swing forwards here, Marta supporting. Good shot on the Hellcat. 
Almost has reasons for another battlefield sandwich. Almost got the Hellcat here. He is a fierce opponent, by the way. Like, he may be backed into corner by Charlotte, but he hits back hard. He's also clearly willing to, like, explore various options. Good shot there in the Sherman from the Martyr. Got another battlefield salvage available. Grabbing the point here with the half check and the Panzer Grenadier. So the next one we see is for the captain. We almost got the triple cap from Sir John Harrington on Charlotte again. Range moving forward here. Marta needs to get out of there. Feels a bit risky considering, like, again, he knows Charlotte's going like, to just come back from those ranges that keeps his light vehicles at the front line like that. Charging him for the half tank. I feel like that's more of a gambit he's like buying time. Calling us to a bomb drop here. Almost had him. There you go. We got designated assault here against the Panzer 3 here. Rangers charging forwards. Knocking out the Flam Panzer 3. A stinging blow there. Panzer is about to go down as well here. A brutal push there from Charlotte. Brutal. Machine gun really would have gone very far there, I think, for the. Uh, to John Harrington and there you go GG game over in the end he just wasn't quite able to keep up there's some interesting counter moves but I feel like that first stoop that proved to be cr critical like had it been kept better alive I think he had a shot and again the, you know probably really would like to see the recovery vehicle there I think could have like helped him like keep going in the match and you know, certainly economically might have allowed him to match I think Charlotte a bit better in certain circumstances but still you know good play for Charlotte of course it is worth noting the ringers are quite powerful at the moment so that obviously plays a role as well. But you did make good use of designate assault position for some of these, I think, very un overlooked ability. But then again, a lot of these types of abilities, in my opinion, tend to be looked. Also, Battlefield Salvage, similarly, very powerful ability. But again, there's just something with a lot of people and timed abilities. Like, unless they're straight up broken, even if they're powerful, they just tend to get overlooked. Like, these, like, designed to just provide absurd advantages before people like to utilize them, so... Bit of a note there on both of these types of abilities. But again, good to see both players make use of them. Thumbs up there. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed this match. I learned something from it. If you did subscribe, like, share, comment. Tell friends and family, but not your enemies. As always, you can support the Prominent Cast by donating our Patreon Patreon. Every bit helps. This is Imperial Machine. Cheers and see you all tomorrow for another episode. Bye, everyone.